In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side front brake caliper on your Ford Explorer. The process is the same for the passenger side. We're going to go ahead and use our pry tool and pop off our center cap here. Using our 19 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen and remove the lug nuts. Here, remove the wheel and set it aside. Using our 13 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead, loosen and remove these two bolts on our brake caliper. Using a pry tool, work that caliper off. Once that is loose, I'm going to use our hook. I want to go ahead and support this higher up so you don't have pressure on the flex hose. I'm going to go ahead and remove your brake pads. Using our 15 millimeter socket, I'm going to loosen and remove the bolt here. And there's one up top here for our brake caliper bracket. Remove those bolts, take your brake caliper bracket, set that aside. Using our 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna move both bolts on our slide pins. Separate the caliper from the bracket. We're gonna go ahead and pull our slide pins out of the rubber boots. So hold the boot and pull that slide pin out. Do that for the other one. What we're gonna do is add just a little bit of grease here from the factory, it's very limited. So we're just gonna add a little bit more. And then reinstall. Push that on. The boot will pop over onto that lip. And do the same for this. Apply a thin coat of grease here. Install your slider. Pressing that down, locking that into place. Repeat for the other side. Go ahead and take your caliper. I'm going to install our anti-rattle clip. 
these clips here will simply latch onto the inside here. Just line that up and press it on. Install the new caliper bracket. Go ahead and snug these bolts down. Install your brake pads. Make sure that the back pad has the squeak tab on it. Set your caliper into place. Start with the lower bolt. Get that bolt started a few threads. The anti-rattle clip is gonna have spring tension on this here. So press that down and get our upper bolt started. Using your 14 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and snug these caliper bolts down. Now we have a catch can underneath our vehicle. You can use some rags or towels or whatever you have. I'm gonna go ahead and use our 14 millimeter socket, remove this banjo bolt right here, holding our flex hose in place. Brake fluid is going to come out. Go ahead and remove our banjo bolt here. Go ahead and put our caliper right into our drain bucket. So the copper washer on the bolt side, we're gonna feed it through, put a copper washer on the other side, and then go ahead and position your line into the place on your caliper, and go ahead and start threading that bolt into place. And we can go ahead and snug this down. Give the caliper a quick wipe down, wipe down any residual brake fluid. I'm gonna remove the rubber cap off of the bleeder here. Go ahead and just pull that off. I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch wrench. Open up that bleeder. What we wanna do is wait for the brake fluid to come through the line, fill up behind the pistons here, and then come out. It might take a little bit of time for that to happen, so make sure you have your catch can underneath. You also wanna make sure that you have enough brake fluid up in the master cylinder as well. Gonna tighten down these two bolts to 25 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and torque our caliper bracket bolts to 60 foot-pounds. I'm going to torque down our banjo bolt nut or banjo bolt to 25 foot pounds. Now we have the brake fluid coming out. Let's go ahead and snug this down. I'm going to wipe down any residual brake fluid here off of the caliper. You want to make sure this is snug, 
but not over tight. So once it bottoms out, just give it a hair bit more. Install the rubber dust boot. Once you're all set with putting the cap on, you wanna hop into the vehicle, pump up the brakes, make sure you get a solid pedal feel, inspect for any fluid leaks, and install your wheel. I'm gonna install our lug nuts. Once we have all these on, we're gonna go ahead and snug those down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.